Uh, my name's Ali, I'm a volunteer at the Langwarren Fire Brigade with the CFA. Um, I'm also currently a law student at Deakin University in Burwood. Um, I joined the CFA roughly about two years ago. I think what really sparked the interest in the beginning was uh, my dad had been a volunteer for so long. Um, he used to come home from jobs and before I'd even let him sit back down and quiz him with 101 questions of where he had been, what he had done, who went on the truck with him, did they go code one, code three. So I always really had that interest and then when I finished high school I decided I'd give it a go. So I sent in my application and did my minimum skills and since then I've loved it. I've done a few different courses like BA, breathing apparatus and low structure, probably a couple of the biggest ones I've done. I've also done a few smaller courses like Fire Safe Kids. That's been a great course because it's meant that when we go to schools or schools come here, I'm able to teach children about fire safety. The standout trainings that I've done has been um, my breathing apparatus. The BA was a very uh, challenging one for me. It was something I'd never done before. So I, I loved that. Uh, now whenever there's a job where there's an opportunity to put the set on my back, I'm the first to put my hand up and say I'll do it. One of the first fires I attended was just a little bin fire down at the local football club. One of the guys on the truck, he was our captain, he said to everyone on the truck, just, you know, let Ali, Ali do her thing and she can run the job, I want to see what she does. So I did, I got everything set up and straight away put the straight jet onto the melting plastic, which he expected I would do, so they all got a good laugh out of that. Um, and then I guess one of the other big jobs I've been to was a big bushfire down at the Seaford Football Club. That was a um, very confronting job because again, nothing like I'd ever done before. As soon as I jumped off the truck, the smoke just hit you straight away. Eyes started watering, nose started watering. But it was great, there was lots of different brigades there. I got tasked with a couple of guys from some neighbouring brigades and we did some blacking out, so it was great. Um, to pretty much put all the skills I'd learned in minimum skills into practice, got to use the knapsack and the Rayco. And yeah, I guess those would probably be the first couple of jobs that stood out. Balancing the CFA and uni can be quite hard because they are huge commitments. It does require a lot of prior organising. <laughs> I need to uh, have a diary that I like to plan probably at least four weeks in advance of what I'll be doing. It, does require a lot of flexibility as well. People at the brigade are really good, they're really supportive, especially when it comes to exam time. If I have to cut back a bit on turning out or making training, they're really understanding. But also my university holidays coincides with CFA's busiest season, which is the summer season. So I get to redeem myself then and jump on the truck as much as I can when, when all the jobs start coming through. I guess a about halfway through high school, towards the end of year nine, I really started applying myself to my studies uh, and I ended up finishing year 12 with a really good score. So it was sort of a last minute decision that I was like, okay, I'll give law a go. So I wasn't exactly sure of what I wanted to go into, but since doing that, I've found that the, being the volunteer in the CFA has helped so much. Um, especially things like getting work experience. Um, now that I've started to become towards the end of my degree, I've really become conscious of building up experience and networking. It's been great and having the CFA as something to put on my resume. It's definitely something that sets me apart from other applicants. It's a really unique thing to be able to say, I'm a CFA volunteer. In, in the interview, it's something that always gets brought up. And then just job skills as well, like employees love it. The character building aspects of being in the CFA, the leadership, um, the discipline, the teamwork. Also being able to think on my feet and look adversity in the eye and just go, okay, this is what we need to do. Those sort of things employers love. And it's something that I can sort of use the CFA to demonstrate how I've got those skills. Also something like the scribing that I've done a few times here at the CFA has also really transferred over in university. So that skill of being able to write really quickly has really helped in um, university, especially law exams, your two hour exam, you do not stop writing in. 
Also through my time with the CFA, I sort of sought out the CFA legal counsel that work at headquarters. I was able to use some connections to get their number and so I just gave them a call and said, hey, could I come in and do some work experience? So I'm due to do that in the next couple of weeks. Again, that's something that the CFA has helped in my outside life. Friends at uni, I think they love it, or at least I think they like hearing all the stories that I come to uni with. If I've been to a house fire or something like that the night before, I get to uni, tell them all about it. I think they think it's pretty cool. Again, it's something that's unique. I mean, I don't really know that there'd be many at my university that do it or in my course. Especially some of the guys, they all say, oh yeah, I'd love to do that one day. So it's definitely something that, you know, is an interesting conversation starter. I guess the advice I would give is just give it a go, uh, being a female and a young person as well. I don't fit into the stereotype of what a firefighter is in the CFA, but I just gave it a go. I always knew in the back of my mind that I've got nothing to lose. If I don't like it, then I don't have to continue. There's nothing locked in about it. And by just giving it a go, I've found that I've loved it. It's been such a great experience for me. It's been so character building and I've met some incredible people. Uh, some of my closest friendships are from the CFA and from my brigade. I guess it's hard to put it into words exactly what it's going to be like. Yeah, my advice would just be, um, you've got nothing to lose, give it a go.